when we are using Azure Functions, the platform itself will take care of scaling our Fast API instances to meet demand, and that's awesome. But within each instance, we have to make sure that we are dealing with concurrency correctly. If we were to use synchronous operations, which is this example here, when we call an operation, say, read item on the database, well, this means that this thread is going to wait. It's stuck waiting for a response from our database. And you can imagine that across many instances, that time's going to add up. Of course, functions could spin up another instance, but then you're kind of losing the benefit of having a single instance be able to do multiple things. Now, this second example here, we're using async and then we're using await as well. This means that when we call that read item, this thread is free to work until the response is back from Cosmos DB. Now, you can also start to imagine how these milliseconds start to add up across instances in terms of saving us time and being more efficient, of course.